Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to do a hobby inspired makeup look um, and also clothes and try to take some photos like the album if I will feel confident enough to do it um, as you probably know BTS started a new chapter, the second chapter and they are literally killing armies with their um, activities, let's say. I just found out that RM will be on a podcast. I'm not sure if it will be in English or not, but that's very out there, a podcast. I'm loving it. Um, they can finally focus on their solo activities and do whatever each member wants. But Hobby is having his uh, first solo album besides his mixtape Hope World. Hope World, as you probably know, it's very colorful and upbeat and vibey and everything that you probably know Hobby is. But now he's coming in with a dark concept and it's super scary. I'm I'm literally scared of him. Um, I love the concept. I love seeing him in this kind of concept, his album Check in the Box is very cool. Um, the only downside is it's not going to be a physical album, it's gonna be a digital one. So I call bullshit on that because I wanted to buy it. You only get the photo cards and the photos are amazing already. He just launched his first um, concept photos more and it's very dark and cool and devilish. So I'm going to try to recreate that. I have in mind the makeup. It's not that difficult to do. It's just dark eyeshadow, a purplish eyeshadow. The outfit is very black and white, um, cards, game inspired, prison style. And I have the perfect skirt with black and white stripes and the perfect uh, shirt, a white shirt, cardigan. Uh, low on the shoulders and I think that will look very good together um, with this concept so let's get into the makeup okay so I've got a bunch of palettes I got this one my most favorite one because um, even though I was an edgy teenager that dressed very baggy black clothes <laughs> no makeup or just dark eyeshadow uh, I changed, I like colors now and we're definitely not gonna use this palette well, what I think Hobie did um, the eyeshadow looks black but not really, I think it's more purplish a very dark purple and I think this color here will look amazing I, I kinda tried it out to, look how, to see how it looks I think this is the right eyeshadow and it blends surprisingly well. This is this is legit a palette that my father bought for me um, because <laughs> for my birthday he said, oh, well, what do you like? You like makeup, so I'm just gonna get your palette like, um, like a toothbrush or something. Uh, anyway, it was very sweet of him. I really didn't expect that. Then I also have this palette with a lot of browns um, and I think this one, I think this one will also work. You can totally see it's a brown but it looks alright and I think the purple one will look amazing so yeah I'm gonna definitely use that. also have some crayons, I have this um, black one very small because I don't really use black eyeliner, just brown eyeliner. Um, maybe I'm gonna use that. He doesn't have like an outline, defined outline. Um, this one, this pencil, I think it's a great color. Um, it's very pigmented. I think it's even better than the black one. Um, and then, and then we also have this one that's um, purplish and again this is my favorite one and I'll definitely use it um, yeah then we have a brown one this could also work 
J-Hope has green piercing snakeish um, or catish um, green contacts. I don't have green contacts. I only have this red contacts that are Naruto inspired and I I didn't even um, succeed in putting them on my eyes because it hurts a lot and I'm not used to contacts. Um, also my eyes, you can say in the light. Yeah, you could say they're hazel, but I think it's better to just leave them like that. So this is my inspo pick. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this kind of brush and I'm gonna go in this brown because I want to make a base. Okay, so this is kind of the vibe. Six and a half hours later. And it's very editorial. Um, the vibe is... The vibe is there. Oh my god. And it's very scary, actually. Oh my god. Let's blend it very well. Oh my god, I look... <laughs> I look um so yeah let me know who's your bias in BTS mine it's obviously J-Hope um I mean I'm really confused because my all-time favorite is Namjoon but lately I'm really into um lately I mean for the last year or two years I've been really really into J-Hope um, I still love Namjoon, but I don't know. I mean, they're all precious to me and I love them all, but I mean, you, you have to have a bias. At least in the beginning, you definitely had a bias. And RM was my bias. Um, I got him when nobody wanted him, like, if you don't like me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best, kind of vibe. Um, I first liked him, I saw him in fire when a friend showed me um, their uh, MV, and <laughs> he looked questionable with that green hair, but I liked him, I liked him the best. And everyone saying, no, he looks kind of ugly, blah blah blah. I was like, no, he looks cute. Um, but now everyone likes Namjoon because he knows English and he's smart and handsome and big body. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, everyone likes Namjoon now. And that's good, I'm happy for it because in the beginning, 2016, 2015, he got a lot of hate. People are saying he doesn't look like an idol and stuff like that. So, yeah. Who's laughing now? Namjoon, obviously. Six and a half hours later. Do we... Yeah, yeah. I think... I think this is the look. Let's get to the lining. So, I'm gonna try to line my eye with this purple, dark purple. He definitely has some darker parts in the inner corner. Do we give off the same vibe? I think so. I think we do. I'll do my eyelashing. I'll put some more concealer, accessories and clothes. So I'll see you then. Uh, guys, I found... <laughs> I found a J-Hope <laughs> inspired jewelry for this comeback. Uh, if you probably know, you probably know that the Murakami flower is very iconic from J-Hope. And I got this in a thrift store. But yeah, not this comeback. Bye. Um, so for the jewelry, I had huge Halloween spiders. They were this big, but I can't find them anywhere. Um, they were exactly like this little one for my hair because they are silverish and they are they bring out the white, but they're a bit big. 
on my head because I don't have a lot of hair but putting them like this and I, it looks it looks scary so that's good this is it <laughs> this is the final look um, I let this sleeve be like this and then this one covered by a cardigan um, it looks very funky <laughs> um, I, I really like it okay so this is it I really enjoyed this it was a lot of fun I wish I could wear the colorful makeup and accessories but we're going dark so bye bye bye